Area forecast is Scottsdale National Weather Service, Los Angeles, Oxnard, California, 9.47 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Sunday, December 25th. Synopsis, it will be much warmer than normal today with most highs in the mid-70s to mid-80s. It will be cooler and little cloudier Monday. A storm will spread rain over the area on Tuesday into Wednesday. The storm door will remain open through the rest of the week with a chance of rain every day. Snow levels will be well above the major mountain passes. Here's an update, short term. Strong upper level ridging for this time of year and strong offshore pressure gradients to the north and east, which is negative 52 MB. Okay, has brought some breezy to gusty offshore flow to the area this morning, along with very mild temperatures in the breezy areas to start the day. In fact, many of these locations remained above 60 degrees in the pre dawn hours this morning, with some foothill areas not dropping below 70 degrees. Unbelievable stuff. Seemingly, this is from last night. There were areas that did not drop below 70 degrees. The early morning Vattenberg soundings showed a warm layer with temperatures in the low 70s from 700 to 3,600 feet and a sounding max temperature potential of 91 degrees. What in the world is this? Which is up 7 degrees in 24 hours. All this has set the stage for very warm temperatures for late December for much of the coast. With the local area likely having the warmest temperatures in the nation on this Christmas day. Even with some high clouds around afternoon highs for much of the coast. They're forecasted to be in the mid-70s to mid-80s, which is about 10 to 16 degrees above normal. There's even a 40% chance of the warmest spots reaching record highs. Here's from the previous discussion. Short-range deterministic and ensemble mean forecasts all agree that a powerful East Pacific storm will flatten the ridge on Monday and bring enough mid and high clouds to call the day partly to mostly cloudy. Height falls to 582 dam. There will still be enough offshore flow in the morning to keep any stratus at bay, but it will limit the compressional heating and will allow an earlier sea breeze. The clouds lower heights and sea breeze will all combine to lower max temperatures 4 to 8 degrees across the area, despite the cooling max temperatures will end up 4 to 8 degrees above normal, and even more across the interior. A cold and powerful upper upper low will slam into the Pacific Northwest on Tuesday. It will set up strong west to northwest flow over Southern California. It will entrain enough moisture to raise P watts to near December record levels, of 1.5 inches, a weak impulse will move through the flow Tuesday afternoon and evening and will focus the rain during its transition. Rain will start over the SLO County before dawn and overspread SBA County Tuesday morning. There's a slight chance of rain as far south as VDA County Tuesday morning, but more likely VDA in Los Angeles will see the rain Tuesday afternoon. Unfortunately, the heaviest rain is forecast at Los Angeles County during the rush hour. The system does not have the best dynamics and will likely not produce much in the way of heavy rainfall. As with most atmospheric river events, the most rain will fall along the coastal slopes that are orthen going to the, going to the river's flow direction. And this east to the north-south Ranges of SLO County coastal foothills. The forecast rainfall totals of 1 to 3 inches across the central coast with local amounts of 4 to 6 inches possible for the Santa Lucia Mountains. Rainfall amounts a half an inch to 1.5 inches are expected elsewhere except up to around 3 inches possible in the west-facing coastal mountain slopes. This will start off as warm e- as a warm event and snow levels will not be any threat to the main transportation corridors. Snow levels will fall to about 6,000 feet after the bulk of the precipitation passes. The clouds and rain will keep max temperatures in the lower to mid-60s. Deterministic and ensemble MDLS keep the storm door open through Saturday. There's currently quite a large spread in the ensembles, and this is leading to a likely too pessimistic forecast, which calls for four consecutive days in mostly cloudy skies and a chance of rain. Hopefully, the ensembles will tighten up some and allow a little less vagueness in the forecast. After this nice warm weekend, it does look like max temperatures in the entire Extended forecasts will be in the lower to mid-60s across the coasts and valleys, or about 3 to 6 degrees below normal. So, what we have here... 
foothill areas did not drop below 70. Vandenberg sounding showed a warm layer. A sounding max temperature potential of 91 degrees.